Hello, miners. Munchmo back with more modded Minecraft. And here we are, a nice, beautiful morning in our world. Uh, let me show you a few things that have changed, shall we? First and foremost, the smeltery is gone, as is most everything down here, because this building... Still got a little bit left over here. Noisy chickens! This building is, uh, will eventually disappear, so yeah, I decided to start moving stuff out and in to this over here. For now, you see it is extremely ugly and nasty looking. This is kind of a bridge that will be later on, which right now it's made of netherrack until we figure out how it's going to look. But this is kind of the design idea I had for it here, for the trusses, and there's going to be one over that way. But for now, this is the look of the bridge. It will definitely change. Obviously, this is just temporary, which leads over to the entryway, which we will add something here. Uh, let me just show you around what we got. This is just a simple... Wait a second. Hold on, what is that noise? Is there, is there a zombie hiding below the floor here somewhere? I don't know how there could be. Where is this guy? I bet you he's over here? No. Hold on. I just realized I have all this wood that I can clear out and get me more cherry wood for the work in. Uh-huh. Okay, let's do this. I like this cherry wood stuff. It's good news. Um, you can go back, you can go back. nice and bright under here. Okay, what else can we get rid of? How about you? 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 Nope, not you. But yeah, so this is kind of going to end up being what I have been calling deep storage. Alright, so far so good. That actually gets us some space under here to be able to do some things, if necessary. Okay, so here... Okay, all right, I think that. Oops, wrong spot. That belongs there. Okay, so here I can put things, and they will get sucked away. If I'm standing on the pressure plate, they will stay in there, and I can work with them at the table, and when I'm done, I just walk away, and it takes them and sends them into the system up here. Boom. Except, oh boy, that's a problem. I don't have any place for cherry wood planks. Great. Let's see. Do I have? I do. So let me start a new spot here. Boop. Okay. So cherry wood planks and wood pulp. Perfect. Now I need to fill up two more spots there. Great. What am I going to put in there? I have no clue. Anything in here? How about signs in one of them? Yes. Okay. And um, anything else in here that I want to put in there? Hmm. Not at the moment. How about over here? Um, no. I guess that'll do for now. I just have to remember that this is an extra spot. Um, so this is not a perfect system yet. There's a lot of work to do on it to actually make it work better and a lot more stuff that's going to go into it. But it tries to stick it in this system because it's got... Uh, 11, so it goes here first, and if it can't fit in anywhere here, then it tries every other spot it can, which includes the painting machine, uh, these guys, the, 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 the sag mills, the uh, alloy smelter, so on and so forth. So, lots and lots of good stuff here. And it makes life so much easier. Oops, let me do this. How much of this I still got? A good amount. Okay, so that should be a good enough amount of quartz to start. Uh, what else we got? We've got clear glass, which I don't... Do I want clear glass? Oh, wait. Um, let's see. How does clear glass look? Clear glass might not be so bad. I was going to go with really clear glass. Where is the really clear... Or quite clear glass, actually. Um, I think it's all in the nether. So, that's what this system here is for. This, not the nether, the, uh, the end. This is how I get around now, for the most part. Boink! Transports me to the end. I can go up there if I want to go up to the surface. 
Ha! Which I still haven't gone through that thingy. Oh boy, I angered, I angered him, I angered him. Whew! Close call. That was a mistake. Anyway, so I, I still haven't gone through that thing yet, which takes me to like an end city or something. Um, but yeah, so we've got this guy. This is how we teleport in and out. We can do the same thing here. We hit this. We can go from the end to spawn, so on and so forth. We've got this over here, which takes us down to this guy here. So what I intend on doing today is... Oh, that's right. This thing can be placed literally anywhere, can't it? Can't it? Wait, I'm confused. I can put it here. Do I need to punch this? Or is this like an axe? Oh, there we go. It's an axe. Okay. Oh, get rid of this crap here. I don't want all this stuff. I need to turn my doohickey here off. That'll help a little bit. Okay. So the marker. The marker, the marker, the marker needs to go right top of this guy here just just for the sake of going on top of this guy right there okay so that is going to screw up some things but that's okay and i need this guy here oh i forgot how to use this thing now crap i forgot how to use it um do we push pull push pull there was a tool that i needed for this this is builders right Builder's guide. How about guide? This guy, a mallet. I need three blank marker cards. I don't have a mallet anymore, do I? Do you see a mallet in my inventory somewhere? I don't see one. Okay, so we're going to have to go grab a mallet really quick. Oh, yes. Mallet time. We're going to have to make a mallet. Now, something to note about this mod pack is there are supposed to be other dimensions available in RF Tools. So if you go at RF Tools, it's possible they may actually be coming in here now, but I don't think so. There should be an RF Tools dimension something or other block, and it does not appear to exist yet. Um... Because this is, they're still in progress. This is still like the beta of the pack and such. Okay, so we're, uh oh, lag. Okay, I needed torches, which I have. And what was the other thing to stick? I need sticks. Yeah, sticks and torches. Okay, so let's go. Give me a stack of this. Okay, so I need one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, right? Yeah, okay. And let me put away everything I can. Now we can go back to the end. And... Ooh. Okay, now the mallet can actually do things for me. Like activate stuff and make things happen and all that jazz. And then, pchow, wow, 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 wow zap in. I love that. Oop. Okay, so now that we've got this thing in place, we've got our shape marker. I just want a circle. I need to make it a bit bigger here. Um, so if we do it like so, maybe? That shouldn't be too, too bad, should it? That's a decent size, and then this thing can kind of protrude out a little bit. Oh yeah, this is what it, the power generation thing ended up being here. How about that? Isn't that pretty cool? So, um, I ended up having to use this stuff, the uh, insulated redstone conduit. In oh crap, we're out of ender. How are we out of ender pearls? Luckily, we have a lot of power here. Um, where are the ender pearls going? Are they getting stuck up here somewhere? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me have a quick look and see here what we got going on. You have nothing. You have nothing. I wonder if they are ending up in my system at home instead of coming here? 
Um, items. No, is there a send filter, receive filter, ender pearl? Oh wait, maybe it's here. There's no priority option here. Nope, no priority option. And this thing is sending to ender farm, right? Let's see. This is all kinds of confusing to get figured out and stuff, but let's see. Uh, items is sending to system and ender farm. So let's remove system and let's re-add system. Oh. Can I... Oh my, okay. Um, I bet you that's the problem. It's send filter, receive filter. Okay, so there's a bit more to this thing than I can do here. Can I... Okay, whatever. We're going all the way down to the bottom. All right, well, we're, we got this thing here, so... Ah, oh, I put away all my friggin' quartz. Uh, all right, I need to come back with some ender pearls because right now I'm having some issues with space, or not space, with power. Um, yes, whoa, whoa, okay. Can I please start by doing that? Okay, so where are the ender pearls? Here are ender pearls. We have 17 stacks of ender pearls. All uh, right, that should now make them go there. But where? What happened to the ender pearls that were in there when I removed that thing? Don't know. Okay, who needs this now? Who's getting full of stuff? Okay. Three stacks of this should be good. How about? Um, you've got two. You've got two. You're low. You are very low. Copper. Ooh, you probably need one of these right there. There we go. That'll help. Okay. And now we go to the end again and we dial out. All right. So. So we want to actually make this kind of cylindrical to start here. Oops. Oh boy, that just disappeared into the system somewhere. Yeah, I love it. It's just going to all go back to the system when I break it up because it's going to go whoop and get sucked into this thing. How awesome is that? That's pretty cool, actually. So, technically, I think our power doohickey can be moved if we want to. Um, I don't know if I really want to or not. But for now, we're just building out our little uh, doohickey here. Give me that. Or, oh, oh, that disappeared. Oh, that's going to be a problem, I think. Oh, well, whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out when the time comes. Okay, so that's that stuff. Now we're going to need to... Oh yeah, that'll look pretty good actually to start. I think so. So this thing is actually going to need to move. We're going to have to do a whole bunch of different stuff here. Um, first, let's go up here and see if this thing got caught in the system at all. Angry, hungry, hungry chest. You, nothing there. Oh boy, there could be some issues. So, here's the thing that I've had an issue with, is these guys don't want to jump off. I had put some trap doors here, and they would walk off, but sometimes, every time I'd come in, the ones that are in the center box would be open, or closed, or whatever. They would block them from doing what they're doing, and it was a problem. Oh boy, and this is an issue. Alright, so we have lighting problems here, but that's okay. Oh man, I've already been recording this for too long, I think. So what I want to do is I want to do some of this stuff off camera. And then I will come back and show you what I've come up with here. So I will be right back.
Oh man, I am running low on. Oh, stop doing that. Ugh. Too many ender pearls. Not enough space in this thing. Right? Okay. Yeah, this is my ender pearl surplus, along with all this ender pearl powder. That. Ugh. Anyway. Uh. Huh, 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 and I, boop. Yeah. Um. Uh, they're getting chewed up mercilessly, so I've got to figure out something more to do with ender pearl or something, maybe a deeper storage. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really, really, really low on quartz, too, which I'm going to have to get a bunch more of that for now. I'm going to pop over to the end and show you what I've done. So far, this is what she looks like. Um, it really doesn't look like much yet because I have so much quartz to go. Uh, this is what it's going to be. We've got the central pillar that the endermen fall down. Uh, the floor being clear. I'm going to do something about the floor design a little bit. Maybe put some edging in, something like that. Um, this over here is going to kind of stick out a little bit for power. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do exactly with this. I think I'm going to replace the glass behind it and put something else cooler in. Uh, something more like warning this is a big power source maybe even put like some sort of entryway here so you have to go through it to get into this thing just to make it look neater uh, but right now I have got to spend time getting a lot more quartz so I'm pretty much out of time um, I got nothing more to do right now oh so much ender crap I've got to find something to do with that because right now look at this this thing is full Maybe I could put something else in place here, like a supplemental storage or something. I don't really know. Um, I've got to expand this thing up, and then I'm going to add some more levels on here. I'm going to put a little level of farm things, and an enchanting room one level up or something. Or maybe I'm going to put the enchanting room over this way, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, as you can see, I've got a Rosa Arcana here for sucking off, sucking off my uh, experience points, which get fed over into this thing. Which also feeds the bell thorn, which also feeds the uh, Enderman lure thing. Oh, these guys got job, job, job. There we go. Ugh. I've got to find a better way. Maybe a faster way of murdering them. I'm not 100% sure. I may put another bell thorn in here. I don't know. Although the problem is, if I want to actually get my XP, which I haven't been using a lot of XP, but that's part of what this is for. I've been using the XP, now I'm good for the Ender Pearls. I am in need of getting the actual enchanting portion set up, which is going to be out here as well. You'll see, it'll be all part of this Enderman Space Station thingy. That um, Nether Brick is going to change into something else as well. I'm not 100% sure what. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. I, I gotta uh, do something better here. Um, this purple glass is neat and all, but I want to put something here that's like, look at this, to know that this is what I'm supposed to look at to aim from here, because that's what it's all about, you know? Um, and I gotta make it so that Endermen don't spawn on the outside here, too. Which, uh, F4, we got lots of darkness around. You know, different places. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Mobs can spawn here. They're dark light level, even though this is glass. How about that? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, uh, that's all the time I have today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, please leave me your thoughts, suggestions, comments about the Ender Station, as well as... Oh, you know what? So, okay, here's another thing. None of these things have names. Ender Station. There we go. I don't know what this... Here we go. Okay. So if I stand here and... Oh, Ender Station! Okay. So this is the Ender Station. Uh, I need to name this thing. What are we going to... What do we call this one? I don't even know. You know, what symbol do we give it? I don't know. I guess we could put... Um, let's put a piece of end stone here. Right? We can call this the End Hub. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, so we can go Ender Station. We can go End Hub. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty cool. And then this is... I don't know what to call this one or what to do this one with. Um, but how cool is that? Um, then we're going to have...
names for all these things. And like over here, um, this guy is the receiver. Call this end hub because we might have more than one in the end. Uh, end hub. Okay. So we got the end. Actually, how about well. Yeah, okay, end hub to spawn. And then we need to call spawn something else. We need to come up with like a name for the town that's going to be here and all that. Uh, and that sort of stuff, maybe even a name for the building, all kinds of stuff here. Oh, you know, I never quite got around to showing you the rest of this stuff here too. So this is, oops, let me do this, here we go, okay. So this is kind of the design so far. We're going to have like a mine cart that comes out of here occasionally, down and down and so on and so forth to get us... Uh, Oh, I don't need all this stuff, do I? Uh, that'll this will get us our um, who's he? What's it? Got our scaffolding there, right? Okay. Uh, this will get the minecart, help unload this thing faster, so on and so forth. And we've also got this fluid transport pipes here for pumping fluids out of the airship, and then we'll have the gangplank here. Which originally I was thinking, okay. Originally, let me let me pop on over here really quick. Okay. Originally, I was thinking about using this stuff here, and popping these guys down like so. Okay. Let's see. We go this way. Oh, I like the arrows. And this way, we could actually have it look like. How do we get that to go? Huh, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe this can like load down like that. And so you see if we go like this, it'll go boop onto the conveyor belt and it'll pull down and we'll actually be able to see the cool stuff happening. And it'll get deposited somewhere. So that's that's kind of my thought there for that. Um Yeah, so tell me what you think. Uh, obviously, there's a lot, 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 lot more detail that's going to be going into all these builds so far. These are just the basics to get stuff out of the way, um, so I can actually have a place to work and all that sort of stuff. But so far, this is what I've got, guys. So thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, anyway, bop, 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 bop. Oops, I just broke a torch.